Today, an informal but very important meeting of the uh, defense ministers here in Bratislava. First of all, we will start uh, uh, discussing and working on the proposals to implement a uh, defense uh, action plan. Uh, as you know, I presented a global strategy in June. Uh, out of that, uh, I uh, suggested first to the foreign ministers, uh, then to the heads of state and government proposals for its implementation, working more on uh, uh, European defense. This doesn't mean a European army. This means more cooperation to have a more effective European defense in full complementarity with NATO. And today, uh, the defense ministers will start working on the concrete ideas uh, to make this uh, uh, a common decision uh, that I hope will be ready for November so that the European Council in December can uh, endorse it. Uh, we will have a session uh, with the uh, NATO Secretary General, uh, and this really uh, symbolizes the fact that we are working together from the very beginning of this process. Uh, with him, we will discuss the implementation of the EU-NATO uh, joint declaration that we signed in Warsaw in July. Uh, we are strengthening all fields of our cooperation, and this in parallel with uh, our work on uh, the European defense and security work. Uh, and then with him, as well as uh, uh, with the United Nations, we will discuss about our operations and missions. As you know, we have, uh, we have uh, 17 of them around the world. Uh, and we will focus today in particular on our operations in the Mediterranean, Operation Sophia, uh, our work on Libya uh, when it comes to um, the security sector reform and border management, and also the work we're doing in the Sahel. Uh, this is the menu for today. It's a full agenda. It's a very important one. And I expect uh, all ministers to be focused, constructive, and to come out of the meetings today uh, with clear indications that can lead our work uh, forward. What is the role you expect from Great Britain? The Secretary just said he's vetoing anything that goes into the direction of an European army. I said one minute ago that this is not about European army. But why is he saying uh, that then? No, I will. Uh, I have the discussion with him uh, now. Uh, what I've seen so far from the UK is a very constructive attitude. Uh, we've always uh, discussed at 28 uh, the global strategy and its implementation. We've done this uh, here in Bratislava with the foreign ministers. Uh, and this is the way in which uh, uh, I am uh, starting the work. Then it will be up to the UK uh, to tell us, to tell me uh, whether they're interested in this process that I repeat is not about European army, but is using the instruments we have in full complementarity with NATO to strengthen the European capabilities uh, in the field of uh, defense, which is something that our citizens, I think, expect from us uh, if we need to uh, work on their security, both internally and externally. Thank you. The, the clear step uh, uh, two weeks ago from uh, uh, Angela Merkel and François Hollande was to create and to go forward this European army. Uh, all the things we are discussing, uh, and I know there can be a little bit of confusion about different documents, but all the documents I have received, among which uh, a French, a German, an Italian paper and others, uh, but also, I would like to stress this, uh, of all uh, others or almost all other member states, go in the same direction, which is not the creation of a European army, uh, this is not something that is uh, foreseen by the treaties, but is using all the space and the uh, instruments we have in the treaties already foreseen. We have some uh, that we are not using, uh, like the battle groups. We have some options in the treaties that we have not uh, uh, even started uh, to uh, reflect upon, like uh, permanent structure cooperation. It is about using what is already in the existing treaties uh, to the benefit uh, of the security of the European citizens and also the benefit of our partners, because uh, again, being it NATO, being it the United States, being it our partners in Africa or in Asia or in the Mediterranean or in the east of Europe, we all hear uh, from them that uh, uh, Europe needs to do its part on the global security and we have the instruments to do that. So it, this is uh, what we will discuss in today. Nothing ideological, nothing hypothetical, something very concrete that we can do. Thank you. Thank you.